I'm really excited about this because this is a recipe test, so things could go wrong, so bear with me. We're going to show you how to do a delicious, hopefully, pheasant recipe. And I'm using pheasant breasts here, um, but you could use guinea fowl breasts, or you could use duck breasts, or even chicken breasts for this recipe. You want to put it into a little bit of cling film, take a rolling pin, and just very, very gently, not using the end, but using the main part, tap out your breast. Now, obviously, this hasn't got the skin on, and it's boneless. And you just want to very, very gently tap it out so it's really, really lovely and thin because we want this pheasant to cook very quickly. Pheasant can be dry and often when it's roasted, the breast of the pheasant is dry. So this is a great way of cooking it. Okay, so probably I would say that's about as thin as you want to get it. And what you want to try and do is not to get any holes at all in your pheasant breast. You then want to take a mixture of breadcrumbs and black pudding. And then just simply rub them in like you're rubbing in fat to flour for pastry until you get this really sort of lovely mixture of black pudding and crumbs. Now this is a really beautiful autumnal dish. So, Get your pan nice and hot, and then what you want to do is to take your battered out pheasant breast and you want to put it into some beaten egg. And the beaten egg is almost going to be like glue and that's going to stick the crumb mixture on. So just gently lift it like that and then straight into your crumb mixture. Meanwhile, back at the range, I'm going to be using some rapeseed oil and I'm just going to spray in probably about 10 sprays of the oil and I'm just going to take that off the heat for a second because it's nice and hot and into that I'm going to put in just a little bit of butter. Using the oil and the butter together will help prevent the butter from burning too quickly. And that's going nice and I'm going to turn the heat down just to sort of medium heat just so that butter starts to foam. And what I'm going to do now is just turn this over and then I'm just going to lay the pheasant straight into the pan. Now you want to cook this on a sort of medium temperature. Not too fast but not too slow. This pheasant breast is going to probably take a couple of minutes each side over medium heat. So, a couple of minutes. Oh, oh, that looks so good. It's such a relief when it all works. Now this is going to be for my pop-up cook school, which is going to be at Parnham. And we wanted to do something with game, and we wanted to do something autumnal, but sort of quick and easy that people can cook in one pan. So I'm hoping that this is really going to work nicely. Now, you can serve pheasant breast slightly pink, all right? And to be honest with you, I think that's a good idea, because otherwise it can tend to be just a little bit on the dry side. Okay, that should do it. I'm just going to lift it out now just let it rest for a bit and then throw into the pan some apple with the skin on and some red onion or shallot. And you want to get in there and just move that around the pan. We're going to make a pan cassoulet. This is going to be with cannellini beans, apple, onion and you could put in a little bit of garlic if you wanted to. If you want to, you can use garlic oil. That just speeds things up for you a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit of crushed garlic going on in there. Towards the end of the softening time. It's quite nice if these apples still have a little bit of crunch. Okay, I'm just going to check that they still have a little crunch, which they do is really really nice they take a few minutes and now I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients my favorite ingredient some white wine it's really important that when the wine goes in that you really boil it so you cook the wine out so we have got 
some cannellini beans here. These ones are canned cannellini beans. They've been rinsed. In they go. Now that's really going to help that apple soften down and get the beans really, really nice and hot. Okay, so the wine has now reduced down enough. It's really bubbling away. I'm going to add just a teaspoon of Dijon mustard going in there. And then just give it a stir. And the final thing I'm going to do, a bit of black pepper. I haven't put salt when I did the pheasant because black pudding's quite salty. But I will put a little bit of salt in here. A dollop of creme fraiche, full fat, maybe a few dollops. Some sage and parsley. And just give that a stir over the heat. Oh, that is looking so good. Mm. And now I'm going to give it a taste. Just to check I'm happy. Even if I say so myself, that's pretty good. Okay, so to serve up, I'm just going to spoon the hot cassoulet just on the plate like that. This will really take out the chill on a cold day. And then I've got my pheasant here. And it's quite nice actually if you just cut it maybe into three pieces.